The work environment of today is very different from just two years ago. As organizations embark on their digital transformation journeys, the realm of software developers is more important than ever and begins to change as new digital products and services are built. So everyone is involved in the creation of software and the application, which makes everyone, to a certain degree, a software developer. So people in the workforce, they need the right tools that help them to digitally collaborate, whether they are business facing and they don't have the technology skill set to bring these new digital ideas to life, or they are highly skilled in technology and they need faster and more integrated ways of working. And if you don't write code, you still need the right platform to be able to build applications and work alongside more code proficient developers. And at the same time, developers who are pro code, they need to collaborate with their low code counterparts and refine the application. So it doesn't matter what stage you are in or the level of experience that you have as a programmer, you still have to advance business goals and improve the efficiency of the software and the application development process. But organizations, they have a lot of management challenges, such as a difficulty with API creation and integration, um, not to mention the data silos and the legacy systems and the, the development platforms that are sometimes complex, which make collaboration really hard. So people need to be able to work in the cloud on a platform that helps them to improve productivity and reduces the complexities of using the software. So let's see how you can easily create an API. And we will use Corio from WSO2 for this. So a platform like this makes it easy to get started working and to collaborating quickly. So with an easy to use simplified interface for writing a service or for creating a service as an API. So when creating a service, it's as easy as giving the service a name and then you go to the next page where you can see the diagram and the source code. So now you can configure a resource to start the service uh, that you want to create. So you can see that as you set the parameters for the service, in this case, you are creating a service that determines the COVID-19 cases by country. And the code automatically updates as you input the different parameters in the diagram. So adding new resources by clicking just the plus icon as you go. You can also see what your new service will look like when you are finished. And you can see that on the left. So with the code on the right. And this is great because now more advanced developers can, can write and they can customize the code when needed. And this directly updates the diagram on the left. And especially improving the collaboration process between the business developers with the low-code experience and the more advanced software developers is important. And when you're done, you can simply click on run and test to make sure that the service is working properly. So now you can simply press get and try it out and add the parameters. And in this instance, we're inputting USA. And we can see that the COVID cases by country and we see that the COVID-19 status in the USA. So we just verified that the service works well. So now you can deploy the service with a few easy clicks. And finally, you can serve and you can take a look at the service performance. So it's pretty easy to create, to test and to deploy and to upload any service that you want. So organizations. They need the best tools to support software development with the capabilities that support low code or pro code experience and bringing new levels of visibility and collaboration to the developers process. So anyone in the organization can be involved in the creative processes. So bringing new levels of innovations to their products, to their services and to their applications. So whether you are a business user or you are a developer, you can use solutions like Corio for yourself and quickly build and deploy services and APIs.